So I found 11 work from home jobs with little to no experience required. And the first one on the list is going to be a roadside support specialist. Have you ever helped one of your friends when their car is broken down? Well, imagine if you could do that for a living and you don't even have to go yourself. You send other people to do it for you. In this career, you'll be providing assistance to vehicles that have broken down or experienced issues while on the road. And the best thing is you don't even have to go yourself or even be in the area. You can do this all from the comfort of your home and you'll make around $44,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to actively find solutions and demonstrate problem solving skills. You get to interact and network with a wide variety of people in the vehicle industry and you get to gain valuable entry level experience that you can use in the future to get an even better job. Some of the cons of this one are there is going to be a high demand for quick response times. There is potential for dealing with very stressful situations and sometimes of course you're going to have to deal with angry and titled customers. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Now, the next one might be great for you if you want to turn your passion for traveling into a full-blown career. And that's going to be a remote travel agent. And this is a professional who expertly crafts dream vacations for their clients, all while working remotely and bringing the world to their fingertips. And being a remote travel agent is kind of like being a virtual tour guide who helps people plan and book their trips, all from the comfort of their home. Now, typically, remote travel agents make about $55,000 a year. But many travel agents can make 50, 100K, even up to 250 to 500 thousand dollars a year. And on top of that, you get a bunch of travel discounts and you can even go on free sponsored trips. <laughs> Damn. And the reason for that is because different travel related companies want you to use and recommend their products. Now, some of the higher paid travel agents will actually specialize in a certain area. So for instance, if you live in an area that a lot of people like to vacation to, this can be an especially good opportunity for you. So some of the pros of this one are in some cases you can get paid to travel. You also get really good experience in a great industry and you can make a good amount of money. Some of the cons of this one are it can take a while for you to make a name for yourself. It can be stressful at certain times of the year and some travel agents will make much more than others. But overall, this is a great one. I'm gonna give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you've ever had fantasies of being a mobster collecting oh, debts that people owe them. And that's gonna be a collections specialist. I'm gonna make him an offer he can refuse. And this is a professional that's responsible for managing delinquent accounts and collecting money that is owed to different companies. And being a collection specialist is kind of like being a persistent hunter, tirelessly tracking down elusive prey to bring them back into the fold of financial responsibility and restore harmony to the kingdom of accounts receivable. I'm sorry. No, but all joking aside, this is one of those careers where you're going to be annoying a lot of people. So you're definitely going to have to have thick skin. And in this career, you'll make around $25 an hour and there's usually commissions. So some of the pros of this one are you get to work on your skills in communication as well as persuasion, and you get a lot of experience in the finance industry. So it can be great experience for jobs down the line. Some of the cons of this one are you do have to have thick skin because you're going to have to have challenging conversations with people. There can be high levels of stress and you have to be very familiar with regulations and make sure that you're compliant. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Have you ever wanted to market great products to people without ever having to do the hard work of creating the product itself? Well, affiliate marketing assistant might be a great career for you to look into. And this is a career where you can embrace your inner smooth talking commissions collecting guru and strategically maneuver through the digital jungle, turning clicks into cash. And in this career, you're gonna be promoting products and services online. And you'll get commissions through driving traffic or sales to the affiliate partner's website. And this is kind of like being a digital sales detective, cleverly planting breadcrumbs across the internet to lead curious customers to the treasure trove of great products that they've been yearning for, all while earning a cut of the spoils. And I like this quote by Neil Patel. He's actually one of my favorite digital marketers where he says, affiliate marketing is an excellent opportunity if you truly believe in the value of the product you're selling, because many times you can make money off of something you would probably recommend anyway. Now, I agree with Neil Patel on this, and I also recommend that you do not ever promote a product that you don't believe in. And as an affiliate marketing assistant, you can make about $49,000 a year, and there's a a lot of room for growth in the future. So some of the pros here are there's a very low barrier to entry. There's lots of networking opportunities because you're going to be collaborating with big brands and you have the potential to learn how to actually earn passive income. Some of the cons here are there is going to be a steep initial learning curve. There's a lot of dependence on external factors. For instance, the Google algorithm seems to change every six months to a year. And so you're also going to have to constantly be adapting.
adapting and learning new technologies and strategies. So because of the fact this one is pretty difficult to learn, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. But it can be a really good one to learn, especially if you want to start your own business in the future. The next one on the list might be great for you if you have a talent for spotting other people's talents. And that's gonna be a remote recruiter or sourcing specialist. But this is kind of like being a professional talent matchmaker, unleashing your inner Cupid and creating a love connection between job seekers and their dream companies. And large companies understand that there's probably nothing more important than getting the right talent. So here's a really good quote, for instance, nothing we do is more important than hiring and developing people. At the end of the day, you bet on people, not on strategies. And that was a quote from Lawrence Bossidy, who is the former COO of General Electric. And recruitment sourcing specialists make about $58,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are there is a ton of potential for growth. This is also probably one of the best careers you could get into when it comes to networking. And you're going to collect a lot of job market knowledge. Some of the cons here are it can be high pressure to meet certain targets. You have to have excellent time management skills and you have to be good at handling rejection. I fed up with his world. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Now, the next one might be great for you if you're somebody who likes setting up events. And that's going to be a remote events coordinator. And in this position, you need to be a master multitasker who brings people together virtually, meticulously planning and executing exciting events, conferences, and gatherings through an online platform. And basically your job is to ensure that everybody has a blast without having to leave their home. And with the pandemic, remote events absolutely exploded. There were literally remote events that millions of people attended. And it's not an easy thing to do to make sure that the technology will hold up, there's good infrastructure, and everything happens on time. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $60,000 a year. So the pros of this are there is a variety of different types of work. Each event is going to have its own challenges and requirements. You also get to see your vision come to life and you get to unleash your creativity. Some of the cons of this one are it can be very high pressure. If the event doesn't turn out well, you are likely going to get blamed. In some cases, you might have to work long or irregular hours as well. And you have to be in constant communication with a bunch of different stakeholders. So you're constantly going to be talking to clients, vendors, and participants to make sure that everything goes to plan. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're someone who's really passionate about fitness. <laughs> And that's going to be an entry level personal trainer. And this is another one that got incredibly popular during the pandemic. Most people could not go out and go to the gym, so they started working out in their houses. And in this position, you would be guiding and supporting individuals and in achieving their health and fitness goals virtually. Now, there's many different ways you could do this. You could do group coaching, you could do one on one, and there's also many different companies you can work with. And in this career, you'd expect to make about $55,000 a year, according to Glassdoor. So, some of the pros of this one are you get to make a positive impact on society. Fitness and health are incredibly important in so many different aspects of improving somebody's life. You'll also, in many cases, do the workouts yourself, so you get to keep yourself in really good shape too. And many people are passionate about fitness, so you get to do something that is your passion. Some of the cons of this one are, at first, it can be difficult to establish yourself and get your first clients. Another con is you are somewhat limited in how many people you can work with one-on-one, -on -one, and it is a physical career, so if you get injured, it might be very difficult for you to do it. So because of the fact that it is a little bit harder to get started with this one than a lot of the other ones on the list. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is one of my favorite careers that I've seen people literally go from like zero experience to making $100,000 a year in a single year. And that's going to be an appointment setter. And this is basically somebody who's responsible for coordinating and arranging meetings for people who are going to sell what's known as a high ticket product. Now, there's many different types of appointment setters. They work in the finance industry. They work in technology, etc. But basically what you're doing is you're finding qualified leads and you're sending them to the closer, which is the salesperson. So this will likely involve a lot of talking over DMs, emailing, and doing short phone conversations. Butlicker, our prices have never been lower. And the best thing is you get a commission if those clients end up buying the product. Now this is one where you definitely wanna make sure you work in the right industry because some appointment setters get paid a lot less than others. So appointment setters in the US, according to Glassdoor, make around $45,000 a year. So the pros of this this one are the ability to develop strong interpersonal skills, a chance to gain valuable industry knowledge, and the potential for personal growth and self-development. For instance, this can be one of the best careers to get into if you want to start your own business in the future. Some of the cons of this one are you can deal with challenging
existing individuals. In some cases, you are going to have to cold call people and you need to have thick skin because you're going to deal with a lot of rejection. But overall, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's very similar to this and specifically it's in the technology industry is going to be an entry level business development representative. And basically you're going to be working with businesses that sell products to other businesses. This is also known as a B2B business. And a lot of the time you're going to be working with software companies specifically. And so your job is to basically know everything there is to know about your product. Also know a lot about the industry in general and then network with other people within that industry. And then you want to basically figure out what problems they're having and then see if your product is a good solution for them. And in many cases, a lot of the time you'll tell your company, hey, a lot of our prospects are having the same problem and the company might actually come up with a solution for it. So this is not like a high pressure sales type of situation. It's not like a sketchy used car salesman or anything like that. It's more about relationship building and business development representatives make about $74,000 a year. And because of the fact that you make extra from commission, there's potential to make a lot more than that. So this is one where I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten into it without any college degree or previous experience. For instance, Della was a stay at home mom who was going to college and she was able to land a $100,000 a year job in less than two months. And they all use the company called Course Careers. Really great company, a friend of the channel as well. I know the CEO, Troy, he's a great guy and he actually has a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So some of the pros of this one are the potential for very high earnings, a very low barrier to entry and the ability to work flexibly and remote. Some of the cons of this one are it can be somewhat of a high pressure type situation, can also be difficult to establish yourself at first and the whole sales process just isn't for everyone. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list might be great for you if you have the incredible ability to find flaws in everything. But this emulsion does look slightly split. And that's gonna be a professional tester. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You're basically gonna be testing different products as a profession. And typically you're going to be rigorously evaluating different software. And you're gonna be trying to find flaws, bugs, or issues that need to be addressed. And testers make about $65,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are the ability to contribute to the development process. You get to work in probably the best industry, which is technology. And this is a great thing to put on your resume for experience because there's gonna be a lot of opportunities in the future. Some of the cons of this one are it can be incredibly repetitive. You are gonna have pressures to meet deadlines because typically they wanna roll out the software as fast as possible. And it requires excellent attention to detail and problem solving skills. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is a career where I've seen people make it to the seven figure level. And that is going to be insurance sales. Now, most people are not gonna make it to seven figures, of course, but if you're a top 1% performer, you can make it there. And even if you're a top 10 to 20% performer, you can probably make it to the six figure level. And this is basically where you assist individuals and businesses on which insurances would be best for their needs. And I found this funny little factoid that Pete Rosengard is actually the person who thought up calling death insurance life insurance, right? So that was a pretty smart thing to do. And yes, you can make it to the six or seven figure level, but even entry level insurance agents make about $52,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are you get great skill development. This one is great for networking. You can also work in different industries and become very knowledgeable about them. And so this can be a great way to transition into other industries down the line. Some of the cons of this one are there is a very steep learning curve. You're also going to have limited initial income and you're going to have to be very good at dealing with rejection. And like I said, sales is not for everyone. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. I think the best sales type job to get into is likely going to be business development representative because I think there's more opportunity in the technology industry. And I think it's easier to get the hang of it. Now, if you're looking for a work from home job and you want to find specific companies, I actually made a video about 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.